What's up guys? So I just want to do a quick one here. I got a 2004 Toyota Camry with the uh, dreaded fly-by-wire throttle body. Customer's got no throttle response, hits the gas, obviously check engine lights on, it works, sometimes it doesn't. He actually popped in the other day talking about he was hitting his gas and the car wasn't doing anything, he was getting no throttle response. Typical stuff on Toyotas. Uh, shot out there with the uh, pocket scanner, I pulled code P2102. P2111, P2112, and 2119. Um, typical problem on these, you know, throttle, the throttle bodies go bad, you know, those throttle by wires, uh, you know, sometimes it's a, it's a programming issue, things like that. I've had it to where the actual blade was gummed up with uh, uh, carbon and all that stuff, but not the case on this one. So I got it pulled into the shop. Started uh, oming out the uh, throttle body, typical stuff, check for power, check the motor, see if the motor's working and all that stuff. But we'll go out there, show you guys the car, I'll show you what's going on with this thing. Alright, so I just want to show you guys the codes real quick. I got the old launch pocket scanner here. You got the, uh, what is that, the CR567, CR7. Great scanner. I've had this for uh, a while now. Just use this for the quick, quick codes and stuff like that. But here's the codes. You got the P2119 for throttle body uh, range performance. We got the 2102 low circuit. We got the uh, 2111 for the stuck open. And then I got the uh, stuck closed. So right there, that tells you that it's it's an actual throttle body problem and not the, not the pedal, not the range sensor on the pedal or pedal assembly because the motor, it looks like the motor's working and then sticking. So you know you got a connection problem. You know, check your wiring things like that. Uh, in this case, like I said, through experience, I know what goes on with these things. This guy needs to uh, get it, take it in and get a de-leafing. He's still got fall leaves on here. He's got to switch them out for winter leaves. Alright guys, so here's the car. I got my trusty uh, light here. I actually lost my other one. Boo-hoo. But I got the throttle body off. They got it located in the back here. You can see the gasket there. I'm going to be replacing the gasket too. Um, but basically after I tested it all, everything was checking out other than the uh, ground going to it. And I remember on these having corrosion problems on the inner motor part. So I took it over here to the parts. Uh, excuse the mess guys. I got to clean up. And I just uh, drilled the cover open. And then you guys can see what's inside. You can see what goes on with these things. You can see all that corrosion there on that terminal connector. All this gunk and soot in here. All this corrosion and stuff. Look at this. Nasty. But that was pretty much his issue. A lot of times these will be rusted closed. The motor is moving on this still, but these, this metal likes to rust. I guess water gets water intrusion in there and uh, wreaks havoc inside these things. So. Nevertheless, I'll be selling the guy uh, throttle assembly. They're not cheap either. You know, installing it and then uh, doing a quick adaptive relearn program to it and send him on his way. But just want to do a quick one for you guys. If you guys are getting these codes, getting those codes on this thing, first thing to check is the throttle. Always check the throttle. It could be the pedal too, position on the pedal, position sensor on the pedal, but 90% of the time it's the throttle, especially in this area. Water gets in there. There's your codes. So, just a quick one for you guys. As always, like, comment, subscribe. Catch you in the next one. Signing out.